Hi, I'm Andrew with Haas Automation. And today, I'm here to show you a cool time-saving feature called Index on the Fly. It shaves about a second off of every tool change, which is substantial. It does this by unclamping the turret while moving away from the part. That way, the turret can rotate as soon as it reaches its tool change position. But it's a little bit more involved than a normal tool change. So before we get into it, let's watch and see how a normal tool change happens. It's pretty fast and hard to see, so let's break it down in slow motion. In this example, we see the tool exit the material. Then it moves to a safe position, making sure to avoid the part, chuck, and tailstock. This may be more than one move, depending on where your tool is at the end of the operation. Next, we have our tool change. The turret unclamps, rotates to the commanded tool, then reclamps. The new tool's offsets are now active. Finally, we move the new tool back toward the part again making sure we don't hit anything. So here we see the code that made this normal tool change happen. You can see we have our exit moves, our tool change, and our approach moves all on separate lines of code. Index on the fly, however, works a little bit differently. But before we get into it, let's watch an index on the fly tool change in slow motion. That way we can clearly see the differences between both types of tool changes. At the end of an operation, we move the tool about a quarter of an inch away from the material. Then, we start our on-the-fly tool change. We have a G200, which activates index on the fly, our new tool number and offset, as well as U, W, X, and Z values. The U and W values are an incremental X and Z motion away from the part and bring us to our tool change position. While the U and W motion is taking place, that is actually where the turret unclamps. And the X and Z values are the return motion after the tool change. The dotted yellow line represents our incremental motion. The key difference with an index on the fly tool change is the machine unclamps the turret during this U and W motion. The turret arrives at the tool change position, performs the tool change, and this orange dotted line represents the X and Z motion back into the part. So here's how I found my U and W values. During our tool change, I pick the biggest tool that we have to clear, and I just measure it. Here it sticks out about four inches farther than the turning tool, and it's wider by about an inch and a half. So we go a little bit bigger than that, and our U value is one and a half inches, and our W value is five inches. So when compared side by side, normal tool change versus G200, we can see this looks more like a can cycle. We have multiple motions on the same line of code, but we still have our exit and the return motion for safety. So we've shown how index on the fly is different from a normal tool change, both mechanically and in programming. But the biggest difference is speed. Index on the fly is much faster than a normal tool change. So let's watch both types of tool changes side by side so we can see the difference. So as we can see, index on the fly is much faster. It's just a more efficient way to change tools. But there are some things we need to look out for when using G200, so let's talk about safety. At the end of an operation, we have to move our tool a little farther away from the face of the part than you normally would. A quarter of an inch is plenty. So now that you're trying to save time, we need to be really careful that longer tools like this don't strike our chuck, our part, or our tailstock. Start with larger values. And remember, U is in diameter, not radius. 
Finally, make sure to check your X and Z values carefully. You may need more lines of code after your G200 to bring your tool back to your part safely. And there you have it. The time savings can rack up pretty quickly. Using our example, if we made 120 parts a day, 260 days a year, with six tool changes per part, that's over a full work week you save in just tool changes alone per year. Index on the fly is just another way that Haas helps you save time and make money. Thanks for watching.